Oh, we're starting it now. Okay, good. Yeah. Right. Stripe okay. on Stripe interview. Yeah. Play the drums. I play the bass saxophone, baritone, tenor, alto, and soprano in the theremin. And I'm playing, I just picked up the keyboard. I grew up listening to like a lot of James Brown and Funkadelic and Sly Stone and stuff like that. And there was a lot of jazz around the house too, like Funkadelic, yeah, George Clinton, yeah. Some of my inspiration, like fashion inspiration were like the specials, like dressing real, dress sharp, suit and tie. And then uh, afterward, I got into punk rock fashion, mixed in with the suit and tie, smart look, mm -hmm. you know. And then later on, I started to get into Afrocentric fashion. I made this outfit. I, I painted it, and I did this for a project that I did in France called the called Mad Vibe Brass Band. I like the circus. The circus has stripes in it, too. And of course, there's prison wear, too. Our whole theme was, we're going to steal your soul with our music. But I like these pork pie style hats. I'm wearing a hat underneath. Yeah, a little tan underneath it, like a skull cap. It's Maryland Negro tie and it's multicolored, so I figure it'll be a good contrast and a splash of color amongst the black and the white. When I was starting out with Fishbone, I'm still with Fishbone, but I, I got my other project called Dr. Mad Vibe. And then we got signed, and then we started going on tour. Because being in the music business, you know, you have a lot of, uh, a lot of struggles and just being yourself, especially if you don't play pop music or in the pop genre. So if you're playing eclectic music and you're talking about eclectic subject matters such as racism, the mediocrity is the shit that sells the most because ain't nobody really trying to think too hard. They like to keep it simple and non-threatening. Those type of ugly experiences that come around, I write about it and I put it in a song. Staying positive in life anyway so you can still keep creating, still shine like the sun. Okay, this poem is called uh, Famous But Not Rich. Let's go. I live the lifestyle of the famous but not rich. This road to stardom is one big grand illusion. Lights, camera, action, and without a lot of chips, sometimes I wonder what the hell I'm doing. I can't see nothing but a lot of contradictions, the color of my skin and the issues I'm addressing. They matching up with the stereotypes of this racist system. It's an uphill journey, so you got to keep on pushing. Lots of pictures and autographs signing, and my bank account is constantly declining. I wonder when this plastic luck of mine will ever change. I ain't raking in no moolah, just scratching chicken change. Gray hair is seeing this day. Weak knees take a bow. On the outside, I'm smiling, but on the inside, crying out. All my rich and famous buddies' massive money stack. We still driving in a bucket and living in a shack. Living this lifestyle of the famous but not rich. Ain't that a bitch?